Hey everybody, so here we are in the shower again. Last time we were in here, we changed out our shower head and hose and uh, also moved our organization rack to the other side. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, every shower I've taken since then has just been incredible. There's so much more space in here and the water pressure is amazing. However, as soon as we were done last time replacing the shower head and hose, Katie went straight online and got a new faucet. So today we're gonna show you how we go about changing this out. Now, one thing I do wanna note is that uh, every RV is different, which we've talked about plenty of times before. Uh, but as I've done research into how to change out the shower faucets, I've really seen two different kinds. Uh, one is like ours here. And then there's another one that comes with actually a bracket that goes around the faucet and actually screws in. Uh, so we don't have that. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and detach it from the back and slide it in. Uh, but first off, we need to go to step number one. Step number one is to turn off your water supply. All right, so step number two is finding the access panel that'll let you get to the back of your shower faucet so you can disconnect your hot and cold waters. Now for us, we actually have a compartment out here on the side that we just unlock and then it gives us access. Now, every RV is different like we talked about before. So in your rig, it may be behind a cabinet uh, with a false panel you're able to move or really anywhere. So if you can't find it, definitely check your owner's manual or give your manufacturer a call and see if they can guide you in the right direction. So as you can see in here, we have our hot and cold water intakes that bring and connect to the shower faucet. Now you'll also notice that there's two white clips there. That's what's actually holding the faucet in place. So now we're gonna move on and go ahead and disconnect the hot and cold waters, which is step number three. So we did turn off the water though we may still have a little bit in the pipe so we may get a little bit of leakage here but I don't think it's going to be anything too serious. All right now our hot and cold water are disconnected. Now that the hot and cold water have been disconnected, it's time to remove those nuts, which is step number four. Now, before we do that, I want to run inside and make sure that we disconnect the shower hose from the faucet because what's holding the faucet in place is these white nuts on the back. Hopefully when we get in there, that's just laying on the bottom of the tub. Now that we have the old faucet disconnected, we're gonna cruise inside and get the new one put in. So here's our old faucet. Once we got the nuts off, it just kind of fell out, which is awesome. So glad to have it removed. Now, uh, our next step is actually to clean up this area here. Now, to be real honest with you, uh, once we got done filming and we were looking at everything, we realized that our microphone came unplugged during this video. Um, so it was a lot dirtier and gunkier over here. So we took a cotton pad uh, with some rubbing alcohol and just really cleaned it up real nice. But anyway, we're gonna move on to the next step and that is taking our new faucet uh, we're going to go ahead and put the back plate on here and then Katie is going to actually slide it through the holes for me and I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down on the back. Now before our old faucet was a little crooked so I'm going to get the nuts on there and then she's going to position it so that it is straight and then I'm going to tighten it down the rest of the way but anyway let's go do it. All right so now I'm around the back end Katie's going to go ahead and put the faucet through right there. And now I'm gonna take the new nuts that we have and go ahead and try to tighten it down. All right. So like I mentioned earlier, the inside is actually was a little not straight before. So uh, Katie's going to holler when she thinks she has it straight and then I'll tighten it down the rest of the way. Pretty straight. 
Okay. All right, now try to wiggle it. It's good. Pretty sturdy? Yeah. All right. Okay, so now we have that completely secured. Now it's time to move on to step number six, which is to go ahead and attach the hot and cold water. Alright, good as new. Let's get back inside and uh, attach the hose, turn the water back on, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so we got the nuts tightened down out there. It's all secure. Looks a lot better too. Uh, we also went ahead and connected the cold and hot waters back. Now luckily with this faucet, they do have the labels in the front that you're actually able to pop off which is good for us because ours are backwards now since we flipped the faucet upside down. So I'm just going to pop these out real quick. And now we're all lined up and we're accurate. Now real quick, I'm going to go ahead and connect the hose to the bottom. Then I'm going to step outside, turn the water back on, and we'll give it a go. Now, before I go turn on the water, I do want to note one more thing. And that is, is that a lot of these connections here that I've noticed within the shower, like the shower head to the hose, the hose to the faucet, even the water connections on the back, is that the threads are a little finicky. So sometimes it can seem like you're going on right, but you'll notice a little bit of resistance. And if you hit that, you're probably not in the right thread. So you want to undo it and line it back up until it's pretty easy all the way till it's tight. Just so to keep in mind but anyway i'm gonna go turn the water back on and we're gonna give this a go all right so the water's turned back on and we're gonna go ahead and give it a test now i didn't use any plumber's tape on the back where i connected the cold and hot waters you may want to do that i figured i would connect it this way go ahead and run some water check it make sure it's not leaking as long as it's not we're good to go uh, but just something to keep in mind if you're doing this yourself Anyway, let's give it a go. Cold and hot. Both running out. No leaks around the hose. No leaks around here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And then I'm going to cruise outside to our compartment, have Katie turn this on, and we'll make sure we have no leaks in the hot and cold water connectors in the back. All right, the water is running in there and we have no leaks coming out of our hot and cold supplies. Here we are with the new faucet installed. We think it looks great. And for 20 bucks in order to upgrade the old faucet to match the hose in the shower head and really make the whole shower feel new, totally worth it. Uh, again, I am going to put a link in the description box if you like the faucet and think it would work for you as well. Uh, but also I wanted to give a shout out to YouTube viewers Light Up The Truth and Trisha Ruth. Uh, they've given us the suggestion to actually flip the faucet so that the hose hook connects from the bottom versus the top, which makes perfect sense. I had always wondered why ours connected from the top and it left the hose kinked. Uh, and this way it feels like it shouldn't kink as much and it should operate a lot longer, a lot more efficiently. But overall, that about wraps it up. I really hope that if you're changing out your faucet, this video helped you. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you much for swinging by. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.